everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Cuddles. And Cuddles is a toy poodle who is coming for his full groom today. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to be doing a number five on the body and um, trimming up the head and face shorter as well. Um, just leave the ears and tail a little bit longer. Um, but otherwise we're going to trim everything up. Cuddles is about uh, 12 to 13 years old and he doesn't have any teeth. So the food around his face gets stuck a little bit there. So we like to, the owner likes to have that a little bit closer and cleaner for him. So that's not uh, going to clog up his face a little bit. So it likes to keep it nice and clean for him. So I am going to start with the number five clipper blade just because he is a little bit more poofy. And this way I'll be able to give him a nice cleaner bath as well. But basically this just takes off more of the bulk of the hair. And since I'm going to be uh, doing his head as well, I'm going to start right in the top there and work my way back. Okay, got a little bit of matting. <laughs> I think more so food stuck in there. There we go, buddy. I'm not worrying about looking uh, completely pretty. It's just, uh, just to get that it started and get the bulk off. Move it around a little bit here. But once we get started, he's been coming to me for about uh, two years, just over. So I guess it's about two and a half right now. So another one of my long-term clients. Who I appreciate. Oh, uh -huh. When I do get a little older, I do sometimes like to move around a little bit more. Okay, hey, it's okay. So as with all my grooming videos, I don't use any restraints. got to be careful um, because um, he does uh, stick out a bit there. So what I do for that, I just kind of guide it back in by pulling the hair around there. And usually, as you can see, they put it back in, which will allow me time to trim around that area. Because if it is sticking out, I don't want to, um, because it's so, so sensitive. You don't want to nick it with the clippers. Um, so I do try to guide it back in that way. That's okay. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay, no. So as with always, you're always checking the blades to make sure they're not getting warm. And of course with all dogs, but more so with seniors, they always have that loose skin everywhere. So you just gotta be careful. Um, <laughs> That you don't catch the clippers on those so i usually go in inside the legs with a little bit shorter of a clipper so i don't have to worry about snagging that Good boy. Okay. 
just starting to get warm. I'm going to switch to a new one. I always have many ready to go and freshly sharpened so that I can easily interchange them out like so because you do want to have <laughs> oh you like all dogs like to face this way because the door is behind me so they like to uh, look this way as the door is here I know, buddy. So they think they can make their great escape, I think. Okay. Sometimes they work themselves up a little bit. And that's why I don't like to have that added pressure putting any restraints around their neck. And even my hands, I don't put around his neck when trying to hold him. Because these older guys, well, any dog, they already have enough stress on themselves. I don't want to add any to that stress. So some guys that maybe have damaged their throats previously, when they do get stressed out, this is some things that you will see. Him. He's small, but he's mighty. Where are you going? I know you want to go that way. I don't like this front leg being bad. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, I'm going to have to hold you up. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta wait them out. You can see he's resisting, but he calms down a little bit. Let's me do it for a little bit and then he goes again. So it's kind of you just gotta it's the waiting game sometimes with these guys, with any of them. But with any dog too, they could have an injury or just a sore leg or Ticklish and just sensitive in that area. Come on, buddy. He wants to stand up there. So he's not a big fan of those clippers. So I'm going to switch to scissors and hopefully be able to finish the rest of those legs there. work on this foot a little bit 
how I kind of have them. So obviously he does not like it being done. It's a little bit more sensitive. It's okay. You're a feisty one. Any toodles? And yes, I understand the scissors are pointy and seem dangerous, but I have been doing this for 16 years as well. And um, with time, you do get better and faster. So when I first started out, I was nowhere near this fast in grooming a dog. Um, and it is definitely a little bit scarier, so you got to learn to read them. And um, when to trim and when to take a break. But owners do want their dogs to look very pretty. But you also want to do it safely, of course. And just like with anything, you have to take your time to learn the techniques. Okay, cuddles. Very careful. <laughs> cuddles. Give me a fight today. Okay, good boy. break from that and I'm going to use the clippers on the other side of him now. A little ticklish with the clippers.
change blades here. Just give me a second. All right. Okay, now back. I'm just gonna sneak in front of you there. So sometimes with these guys, um, you can't get them perfect just because they move around quite a bit more. Like this guy here. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> and um, so you kind of just do the best you can. without causing them too much stress, but this is something that they need to get done. And his back leg here is a little bit stiff. I can just tell he doesn't want to bend it for me, so I will work with him on that as well. We'll see how he does on this front leg. I'm thinking he's not a big fan of the clippers on his legs. <laughs> it curls them up for me. Okay, then. Yeah. I know. It's okay. Yeah. I might just put the cone on him because uh, he kind of, yeah, just right there. So I'm just going to take him with me here. Just I don't want him to go off the table. So I'm going to put a cone on him just to protect him because he's lunging at the clippers and I really don't want him to put his mouth on those clippers because that is very dangerous and uh, could cut him obviously so I just put a cone on for his protection yeah I know it's not fun so I'm just going to put it on the top I'm not even going to snap it down there we'll see if he leaves it on if not I'll put it I'll snap it in completely, but right now I just want to protect him from getting access to the clippers because he's uh, pretty quick. <coughs> yep, pretty quick. I know. So this leg, he stretches him out. And the cone, yeah, the cone does not have any pressure on his throat, but I guess it's stressing him. Okay. okay. All right, we're done with that. Okay, right, I'm going to go back to the scissors again. And this one's a little more sensitive than the other one was. Sorry if it's blocking your view. I will try to come more on an angle for you. But I'm sorry if I can't get you the best view. All right. Again, I'm going to try to do the best I can with what he'll allow me to do. But sometimes you can only do what you can do for these guys. Hey, okay. in on something and then you can't see so I'll move it back and then that should help I'm just not liking me trimming the inside here oh, there we go Okay, calm down. 
All right, so I'm going to try to get under his pads here. Giving me a workout, you little guy. Right now, I'm just gonna try to get the bulk of it off of his pads. I'm not gonna worry about going in too much between his pads because he is sensitive. And I know he's pretty tiny, but when he pulls and twists, if you're grooming dogs, you would know what I'm talking about. So even with a restraint around his neck, that would not prevent him from moving his feet all about like they are. So it does not help restrain him in that manner because he can still move his feet about <laughs> oh my goodness Bob. okay you tired me out we're gonna have a good rest after this eh both of us you always get some people that call and go yeah i just have a small dog so they think that that's easier, but as you can see, it's not necessarily the case. Because they can be just as fidgety, and even though they're small, it's not like you want to hold on too tightly. I'm going to have to change spots with you here. I'm just going to move that back a little bit, so I can get... Better leverage on him. I'll try to get this one foot here. So again, I'm just going to try to hopefully tire him out. So I can finish trimming. Oh, maybe. Usually when I groom, I do, like, without the camera. Oh, man. I do a more head-on approach, like I'm trying to do here. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to not be able to see his head as I lift him up like this. And instead of coming from the side, I come straight on which gives me a little bit more control. But when I'm grooming for the camera, I go on the angle so that I try to get you the best angle. But you're just going to have to kind of go over my shoulder. Okay, then. And since he is so difficult with his feet, I'm going to try to do this foot right now with the nails as well. Okay, then. I know, you're going to get tired. Okay. And I just allow him to tuck, tug at his own comfort level. But I just kind of hold him in place. So it's up to him, his comfort, how much he wants to tug. Nail bleeding. Right. You're feisty. 
one more. I just got to do that dew claw. And then this one is done for the nails. And I see some fur there too. There you go, you survived. Okay, I'm gonna try to see which one's bleeding as well. I'm just going to turn on a fan. I'm going to have to circulate some air in here. Yeah, now you're not panting. So when I pick him up, he does relax, but he's just not enjoying the groom. So we'll let him relax for a little bit here. Hey, I know. Good boy. I know. You're having a rough thing, eh? There. I know. So it's the groom itself. Try to get this one out of the way as well. Good boy. And I know he does move. That does not mean they're hurting. It's just that his nails are a little bit overgrown. <laughs> before he stresses himself out too much. There you go, good boy, good boy. There, I know. Good boy, that's a good boy. Okay. Okay, well we got two feet done. That's progress. And I'm hoping that uh, I'm not blocking the camera too much with him, or with me. Oh my goodness, boy. Where are you going to go? Okay, so I'm going to try to do this back foot now. He may be a little bit better with the back. And we will soon see. Alright, well, I hope to... I'm going to keep the camera back like that because otherwise I keep blocking it. And I will speak up because I know I got the fan on as well. I'm just trying to keep it a little cooler in here. So it's just uh, basically like a bathroom fan I have just to pull out the humidity. It gets a little bit of air circulation in here. So hopefully that's not too loud, but I will speak louder. And yeah, no, please give me comments if uh, there's a different angle or something that you think I could do. I have seen people that wear the cameras on their forehead. And I don't know if that's a better view um, for you guys. I kind of like this one because you can kind of see the bigger picture. So that's why I do it this way. And you can watch the dog straight on. Good boy. Oh, you don't mind the back feet as much. Thank goodness. You can both rest a little bit. He doesn't like the clippers on his legs or his front feet. And then he could also, um, sometimes when the nails get a little long, their feet get a little sore as well. So when you're trying to trim around their feet, their nails are uh, longer, their feet are sore. So even though you're trimming their feet, because their nails are long, their feet are also sore. So even just you holding them puts a little pressure on there. I know you're getting a great cone um, view there, but I'm going to keep going. I don't want to let go of his foot to move the camera because he's doing so good. And he has relaxed a little bit. There. That one was way easier, eh? Okay. So I'm going to try. 
try to do this foot and hopefully <laughs> you will be able to see it too. Try to get you a good angle, hopefully. No, 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 no. Come on, baby. You did so good for the other one. Cuddles. depends on how the comfort level of the dog is to where I hold the leg. And I kind of try to make it as less uh, as convenient for him as possible and to see where his comfort level is. Sometimes when you pick it up they'll hold it a certain way on their own. being aware where the ends are and the tips are of those blades. I do have them rounded off. <coughs> All right, everybody. Come on. Come on. Oh, get that foot. No, get it while I can. Oh, one more. Yeah. Good boy. Good, oh, good boy. Okay, so I'm going to do um, his undercarriage now. I'm going to use a number 10, just because he is uh, coming up there. So I'm going to do like I did before, tuck it back in as I lift him up here. Try to get you to see. So it is sticking out. So again, I just pull the hair around to kind of get it to go back inside. And once I do that, then I use the number 10 clipper. Okay, okay. And that, if you have them upright like this, it shouldn't come back out. Yeah, and that gets it nice and clean for him. Um, and I didn't obviously trim anything most likely will come back out again just because of his age and he probably does it when he's nervous or some guys just don't have control when they get older as well to keep it in so that's how you can trim that up still nice and clean without causing any damage okay Whew. okay turn him. I'm going to shift over. I'm going to try to do um, the back of his inside of his legs here and his bum area. Get these scissors off here. So let's see how he does. Mm -hmm. Like nope, not going to happen. Alright, so I'm going to 
start cleaning up the bathroom. Basically, just trial and error. You can start at one spot, and then if they don't like it, try it from a different angle. Remember what I've been doing this I've been doing this for 16 years so if you do need a break make sure it's on your terms so that um, you break when you want to not when he's uh, misbehaving or acting out because that just reinforces their that behavior to them to act out so you can finish a task and then say okay break but only when you want to not because they are acting out. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to try to lift the leg here. And I'm going to contort myself. There we go. There we go. And we got it. Good boy. Now for the most difficult part. On the face. Okay. Just has a little bit of a mat there. Although I know some of you think that it's more dangerous to use the scissors in this area, with how much he squirms with the clippers, it would not be safer. Not all dogs like the scissors in their, or clippers in their face. But I do find they are calmer with the scissors. And I actually have more control of watching his movement with the scissors than I do with the clippers. Again, and that's just from years of experience. But it doesn't take long to get that, that experience either. I have a student working with me as well. I know. Um, who's just at a year right now working with me and uh, she's already doing very well. It's just getting those techniques of how to hold them. And I do have other videos of how I do that. I'll, I'll show you quickly here. But he's being so good, I don't want to stop. So if, I, if they're being nice like this, I don't put any pressure on anything. If they are resisting, I use my these two fingers here and I hold the back of the jawline so then that leaves a gap underneath the throat so I'm not putting any pressure on the throat and I don't want to ever put any pressure on the throat but then sometimes they usually rest their chin just on my thumb there which he does back and forth have a little bit of thicker fern here. So I'm just going to work it out a little bit. But also be aware he has no teeth so his tongue is going to be out for me. It's okay. It's okay. I get a little bit stressed. not putting any pressure on his throat, just holding him in place. There we go. There's a little bit of a thicker clump there. I know, buddy. There you go. And with all my videos, I don't do any editing. And, uh, 
probably a good thing and a bad thing, I don't know. But I want you to see what it really is like being a dog groomer, not just what some dog groomers want you to see. Because not all dogs behave and sit very nice when you're grooming them. And they don't just magically let you. Their feet just magically don't get trimmed up if they're resistant. But you don't see too many resistant dogs on the chokers. And that's there's that's for a reason. Because they are generally causing damage. Or stressing the dog out too much. Well, not necessarily stressing the dog out by having it on, but the grooming process itself is stressful to the dog, as you can see. I don't have very many dogs that like coming to me. I do have some, but <laughs> it is very rare that they're excited to come get a dog groomed. So I am trimming around his face here. I'm tucking his tongue in with my fingers. I can get those mats out of there. It just takes a little bit more patience because you gotta kind of go around, especially that he's panting. I know. I will get you. Done. I wasn't even there. <laughs> Got you, buddy. I know it looks scary with the scissors here. All right, these ones are cutting in and out for me for sharpness, so I do not want to use them. You want to make sure your scissors are sharp. When you make the cut, you don't have to go and do it three times. And I don't really want to hold his tongue in too much because he is wanting to pant. me to uh, get him a little closer to me, hopefully, get the rest of that space done, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, bud. He's still got some spunk in there. different angles and trying to get the best you can and I may just have to keep that piece a little bit longer for now and uh, just wait till after the bath okay okay so I'm going to start on the ears I'm just going to trim outside the ear canal nice and close we are going to leave the ears a little bit longer as the owner likes to keep them and the tail a bit longer. Okay. And I'm going to pluck those ears out. Where are you going? You're coming? Oh yeah, you're going to crawl right up on me. So that's why I can't really stay too close because then he kind of crawls right up. So I'm sorry if I'm blocking you. And sorry if I'm not talking loud enough, but 
please let me know in the comments how I can uh, do better so that you can enjoy your video and more to come. Okay. No, sorry, this one. The first year, there we go, is the first. That's the hair in that one. Oh my goodness, dog. Okay, hey, hey. Hey. I know. Okay, right, so I'm going to have to give them a little bit of a hopeful hug here. think like I said the little guys would be easy but when they get a little older they figured it out okay. I know so let's just stress them out okay so I'm gonna stop because it's stressing them out too much putting any pressure on his throat that's holding him by the side of the head but he's stressing himself out there so I don't really want to impact his breathing there too much so we will try a different method just a little bit at a time and that's one thing you got to do you just got to do when you can the one ear was not too bad compared to this one but this one has a little bit more hair in it as well I'll just do a little bit more and then I'm gonna stop yeah I know. Yeah, I, know. I guess that's my cutest dog page okay well we'll leave it for now and i may be able to come back after the bath so let's just move on to the bath there he just wants to cuddle yeah he just are ready to go home okay i still gotta comb out the tail and the ears but uh not too worried about that because they don't look too mad. You're just a squirmy guy. And you would think the older guys are easier and calm and relaxed, but really the senior guys are just as surprising of funk and energy as the puppies. If not a little more because they know they can get away with it because you are not going to hurt them. The puppies are a little bit more nervous. These guys are... They just know that... What are you going to do about it? <laughs> kind of thing. And being resistant in the past may have helped them get out of other situations. So, Because most people would just give up if their dog is behaving like this guy. Not that he's being bad. He just got a lot of spunk. Okay, and a lot of energy. But you are going to sleep so good.
the table and he's gonna tell you a story about how he just got the eighth <laughs> When you blow dry senior dogs, um, they can have seizures just from the noise. So I do put the uh, uh, ear wrap on them to prevent that, but sometimes it may still come. So if I do see that, then I will not be continuing to blow dry. And again, that just comes from experience. I would never intentionally do that to any dog. So you most likely will not get a video on it, but you may see the onset of one. Not all senior dogs do it. My last dog did it when he was about 12 years old. So it's just something you need to watch out with for and uh, be careful of when they get a little bit older. So you do want to protect their ears. There you go. Just want to make sure that's not too tight for them, but it seems okay. I just want to make sure it stays on as well. Okay, so we're going to start with the blow dry. try to do around the face just while he's distracted from being blow dried possibly <laughs> nope he does not want that done so I will try a little bit more 
but I'm not going to be too concerned with it because I can only do what I can do. Alright, so I'm going to go back with the number five and that'll clean up anything that kind of got missed from that initial grooming. See, it still takes off, you know, quite a bit. So that's just going to kind of even it all out a little better. Especially around this neck area. And we already know around the legs. Well, he's not a big fan of, so I'm going to go quickly. I always let my owners know when I'm working with a senior dog, I can only do as much as they'll allow me um, with their comfort level. I can usually get them pretty good, as you can see, he's still looking pretty good. <laughs> but, um, you know, or some dogs with injuries as well, you're just not able to do all that you would be able to do on another dog. So, I'll see if I can get in the ear here. Nope, got a couple, but... Then he was on to me. So I might come back. Um, oh, there we go. Got a few there. And sometimes, especially if it's your own dog, you can go back a few times. Oh, there we go. Okay, watch his tongue. Good boy. Yeah, Desi. So sometimes you can go back and just do a quick little fix up. Nope, got a couple. It's always getting me there. There's one little mat there, but I don't think he's going to let me get it. And I don't really want to put too much pressure. This is a little bit sensitive. There we go. Yeah, okay, you got it. Good boy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so hopefully this was a good video for you. Here, just wait. There we go. As uh, he likes to be held, so I'm just gonna hold him here during this last little bit. Um, and uh, it was helpful to you, and uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the grooming experience here of Cuddles, a little senior guy who's got a lot of spunk. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, I will um, just uh, brush out his tail yet here, and then I'm going to. Uh, trim that up and then he will be all done. I know you want to cuddle. Let me go and just do your tail. So I just kind of go <laughs> with what oh. you'll allow me here. Oh. He's getting tired um, and that's sometimes with the senior guys they can only do so much before they're done. <laughs> But you can see his uh, stress level is a little bit down, even though he is resistant. Um, he's not panting as much. He's not making the choking noises as much. So he is doing better, even though he's probably all ready to go already. He doesn't want to be here. There we go. Like I said before, the ears were pretty good, but just be careful again. You're just not putting any pressure on the throat. You're going beside. So when I come from the front, I'm kind of on his chest bones here. There's the bones right there, just at the top of his legs. So just right on his chest, and that's kind of where I can move him a little bit. But I'm not putting any pressure again on that throat. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and hope you'll continue to watch and subscribe to my channel and uh, I look forward to seeing you again and I hope you have a great day.